beautiful voices in the world, and we're delighted that she could stop by today. Please welcome my buddy, Mariah Carey. <laughs> I'm fine. Good to see you. Good to see you. Did you see Andre do the opening? Yes, I did. He was fabulous. Was he? Andre? Yes, he was. I told you he wants to be a talk show host. And, and he so. probably will one day. Mm -hmm. Now he's got an audition tape, too. So. See? <laughs> That's all he needed. <laughs> now, um, we met at, at the Fresh Air Fund Benefit. Yes, we did. Although you did come to see me in Greece. Yes, I did come to see you in Greece, and you were fabulous. Oh, Mariah. You stop. were. And I love that song. I love your song is like one of the best songs. Yeah, well, you singing it do. would be a little bit better than my rendition. <laughs> I kind of had the, uh, you know, um, Ethel Merman. You sounded good. There are worse things <laughs> I could do. You know, but I had a good time. But you were a fan of Greece when you were a kid, yes, right? Yes, I was. I saw it like eight times when I was growing up. You ever meet Olivia Newton-John? I did meet Olivia Newton-John in Germany on this talk show. And she was on, I guess they had a... They have like a road show that does Grease and she was helping them kick it off and she's really, really nice. Did you tell her you used to watch her so much when you were little? Yes, I did. Was she thrilled yeah. or was she annoyed? No, she was so nice. She's she was? really, really cool. Actually, I met her before that. I met her at the American Music Awards when I first came out and she came up to me and she was like, I love your voice. And I was so, you know, I mean, it was really exciting because I'd never met any famous people. It was like the first thing I ever did a talk show and I was like, Olivia Newton-John, so I didn't say anything. And then I felt bad that I didn't say like, I love you too. When I was growing up, you know, you're amazing, so. Anyway, she knows it now. Right, she just heard it right here on the Rosie O'Donnell show. Speaking of your voice. How do you get those? What is that? That's like that Minnie Ripperton. How do you get that? No, I love Minnie Ripperton when I was going up. Wasn't she great? Um, she you know, was amazing, and you know, her records are still incredible. And um, I don't know, I just practiced, and it was just a weird thing I have in my voice. So it's great. It's like 27 up. octaves you have in there. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you grew up on Long Island like I did. Yes, I did. What exit? I, I lived on many exits. <laughs> I moved around so many times, like 10 times, all over Long Island. And we used to go to the same dance club. I'm a lot older than you, but we used to go to the same dance clubs, like Sunshine. Well, I could. That? <laughs> My friends used to go there, and I used to try to get in, but you know, sometimes you I, mean, I didn't get in until they changed owners, and then, you know. Did you have the fake ID? Well, I had older friends, so they always kind of snuck me in. And, yeah, you know. I had the fake ID, <laughs> Doreen Norton. Yeah? I used her ID. <laughs> And I sneak in, and as you're walking in, your friends will be going, Hey, Ro, we're gonna get a man. <laughs> they said, Do, that's my name, Do, Doreen, Do. <laughs> it was a tough thing to do. Now, tonight, there's a big Fresh Air Fund. Yes. Event. Tell everyone what this is about, which is why you're here. Okay. Um, the Fresh Air Fund is an organization that's been around for 100 years, and every year they send 10,000 kids to camp um, from the inner cities, who um, most of which have never been outside the city or outside their own, you know immediate area where they grow up. So it's it's incredible. And I know people who've who've been through the program and are now grown up and they say it's changed their lives. So it's really important that we keep it going. And today's the kickoff of their fundraising um, you know, they're trying to recruit people to be host families. And what that is is that people who live in the country or in the suburbs take kids from the inner cities and they bring them up and um, they take them. Some people take them year after year after year. So it's yeah, It is a wonderful program. Mm -hmm. It really is. People to keep volunteering. Yes. You have the 800 yeah, number. Back and doing that. Yes. Okay. The yes. 800 number is mm -hmm. uh, 367 -0003. It'll mm -hmm. be on our screen mm -hmm. while we're doing this. Now, um, Mariah, I, how's your husband? He's fine. Thank Tommy's you. doing good. Yes, he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, you get sick of reading all the stuff about you in the paper. Every time you open the paper, there's an article, there's this, and they're usually full of crud. Oh, yes. They are most often full of crud. But, yeah. um, you know, it's like you, you have to deal with it, as you know. And yeah. it's difficult because the media has become so out of control. And I guess, you know, you're in this position and you just have to kind of grin and bear it and realize that hopefully people with any sort of intelligence out there reading things that are just out of this world crazy realize that you know it's not true right because you know? i know there was somebody at one of the uh, <laughs> was it the american music awards no the grammys it was the grammys mm -hmm. and i knew somebody who was at the party they said you were dancing you were, and i read in the paper that you were moping yeah they said in the thrown. paper that that was really annoying they said that i was sitting I had the TV monitor shut off and I was sitting there moping in a corner by myself. I'm like, A, why would I go to the party if I were going to do like a mope at home, you know, quite right. easily. And B, I was hanging out with Brandy and Wanye from Boys to Men the whole night. I practically closed the party down. 
and we had a great time. So it, it's like when you read things that are just so out of left field, you're like, you know, whatever. Right. It's upsetting. Because there you are the night before. Woo! And the next day you read, she was talking. <laughs> no, exactly. Was the, and then they said what? I got into this huge fight at a hotel that I wasn't even at. Really? You know, and it's like, I guess anybody can say anything and they'll take someone's word for it, but whatever. Yeah, you it's know, one of the things you gotta pay when you get to be as true, famous as you. True, and true. you're pretty famous, because I don't know if you've. Uh... <laughs> Of love. Your rendition is classic. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> when we were at the, the Fresh Air Fund mm -hmm. uh, benefit, there were, I had to be the MC. Remember yes, this? you were fabulous. And so Mariah's at, at this big table with all these mucky mucks, and I'm up there, and I have to announce the shawls. <laughs> right. Rich people in New York City were wearing shawls. They auction off shawls. I don't know how this ritual started. But I don't either. And it I, they said, money. "Go ahead, go up there and make it fun for 20 minutes." People in shawls. So I started singing this song at the shawl parade. Yeah. Did a lot of money at the shawl parade. But it's parade. like these women are, are parading around in these in these interesting little shawls that they're auctioning off and row. He's like the shawl parade. <laughs> it's kind of silly at the shawl parade. It was funny. And then at the at the break, Mariah said, "I'm going to cover that, and that's going to be the first single on my new LP." <laughs> I'm working on it now. The shawl Can parade. Can you come do the background vocals? You know, I am available. We'll check my schedule. Okay, work it yes. out. I have a lot of fresh air fun benefits to okay, go to. Okay, good. As yes, you, you do. do. Yes. Tonight, You're yes. going on tour, world tour? Yeah, well, I'm working on my new album right now yeah. in the studio, and um, I'm going to do my first world tour, which I've never done before, so I'm really looking forward to that. And you will be wonderful. Christmas album, uh, it's classic, Mariah Carey, Merry Christmas. There it is. <laughs> All right? Thank you. We'll be right back. More with Mariah. Dean Kane, <laughs> Thomas Calabro, and David Cassidy. Woo! He's gonna be here. Mariah, the Fresh Air Fund number is up on your screen right now. Call mm -hmm. that for information about the Fresh Air Fund. This mm -hmm. is your dog, Jack. This is Jack, yes. And he does the trick? Well, it's sort of a trick. It's okay, something he... that we discovered quite by accident when we were trying to drink uh, some Evian water, and we realized that Jack <laughs> likes Evian, or whatever this is, Poland Springs. Poland okay, Spring. can you get it? Go, get it, get it, Jack. Come on, Jack. Come on. Uh-oh. All right, we'll just give it to him. Wait. And then he attacks it. And then he attacks it. Get. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Open the water Usually bottle. Usually, I told you guys he needs the smaller bottles. What are you doing to me? <laughs> all right. Oh, look, he'll drink it and okay, then he'll come peel on, Jack. Give me the, all right, right, let me like. Like. Okay, give me it. Come on, Jack. <laughs> come on, puppy. Come on, puppy donkey. Ah! Oh, dear. Hope you didn't get that one on camera. Live TV, we love it. <laughs> all right, thank all you. Alrighty for there. Being here. Sorry. As we go, don't be sorry. He'll do it before we're out. Come on, Jack. Uh, we hope you had a good time. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mariah. Fresh <laughs> <Fresh> air, <laughs>